Hello everyone, I'm back. And it's time to actually enter the world instead of reading. <laughs> oh, I'm reading. So horrible. Let's go. <coughs> Aqua Capital, Makanu. Makanu is the name of the place. Hey, you made it. Uh. Hey, it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Whoa! You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Nothing like the real you. Hey, in this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. What? No, you look great. Anyway, take this. Member address is the flashmail address you can only access in the world. With flashmail, you can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. It's mostly used by newbies to contact other players to form a party. Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First, Press the triangle button to open the menu. In the menu, select Party. Next, select Add. Names of players who gave you their member addresses will be listed here. Choose a player you want to invite to your party and send a flash mail. Since you just started, you probably only have my member address. Now. Press the X button twice to send a flash mail to me. Ah, got it. Join my party. It's kind of weird mailing each other when we're face to face. See? My name appears under your screen. That means I'm in your party. By the way, flash mail is only available when you're in a town. Oh. And you can't contact people when they're not logged into the world. People do have a life, you know. We're not online 24-7. In other words, you can't always count on the same members to form a party. So, try to get as many member addresses as you can. You'll have more fun that way. Well, how you play is up to you. But since EXP and stuff isn't divided among party members, you really don't benefit if you go solo. Okay. Well, why don't we head off? There's nothing to worry about. I found a perfect place for newbies. This is the Chaos Gate. A sort of transfer device that takes us from one place to another. Now, press the X button. In the world, each play zone is called an area, determined by a combination of three keywords. Select New Keyword. This is the keyword screen. At the top is the entry plate. You put the three selected keywords one by one for each part, A, B, and C. Left of the entry plate is all the keywords you have. You can collect more of them by reading your emails, the board, and from other players. Now, let's enter some keywords by starting with part A. Select Bursting from the list. Good. Next for part B, select Passed Over. For the last one in part C, select Aqua Field. Now you're done specifying the area. Oh, one more thing. You see the symbol on the left next to the keyword? That's the server symbol. It indicates which server you are currently logged on to. This symbol is Delta, so we're logged on to the Delta server. The list on the bottom right is the area status list. See the jewel next to the field type and dungeon? That indicates how the selected keyword affects the status. For example, check the field type. See the jewel on the right? This means that the field type is being determined by Aquafield, the keyword in C. We don't know what kind of field the current keyword will create until we get there. 
But once we learn the effect of that keyword, we can combine it with other keywords effectively. For more details, check out the board on your own time. All right, let's get going to the Delta Bursting Passed Over Aqua Field. Select Warp. Before we get going, let me explain to you about the camera control. During the game, enemies will attack from all directions. The idea is to adjust your view quickly to see your enemy and grasp the situation. I'll explain more later, but remember, you can only use skills on targets you can see. Basically, if you don't use the camera right, you'll be dead before you know it. First, rotate the camera. Push either the L1 button or the R1 button to move the camera. Good. Next, let's zoom in and zoom out. You can zoom the camera in or out by using the right analog stick. Try it. it. Finally, you reset the camera by pushing the R2 button. There you go. Remember, when the battle starts, constantly adjust your camera. Okay, and this is the field. It's the lowest level in the area. When you want to return to the town, press the triangle button and select Gate Out from the menu. Grassland, Wilderness, and Jungle are some of the field types. You can set them with keywords. The combination of field type and weather determines the area elements. For example, if it's a grassland and it's raining, that area will be a water element stage. The elements also affect the type of monsters that will appear and the items you can get. Don't worry about it now. As you get used to it, combine words to get different elements. Now, let's get going on our quest. First, check the map at top right. You see the red down arrow on it? That's the gate to the dungeon. In the dungeon's deepest level, there's a got statue usually holds a rare item. Basically, the goal is to reach this statue. But enemies are often tougher down there, so gain some levels above ground before you head below. Okay, wait a sec. By using the fairy's orb, hidden data on the map becomes visible, like this. Yellow areas on the map show magic portals, where you encounter monsters and treasures. All right, how about we go pick a fight? Head for one of the magic portals. For a basic attack, approach the target and press the X button. By the way, a cursor appears on the target so that you can check its name and hit points. Try using a basic attack to defeat some monsters. You've started to get the hang of it, right? Okay, let's try using skills. Press the triangle button to open the menu and select skills. Okay then, choose Rep from the list. When the target cursor appears, select the target and press the X button to execute. That's it, pretty easy, huh? You can target a party member for recovery or remedy skills and the enemy for attack skills. Remember, 
you can only apply skills to targets within your view. Before using a skill, adjust the camera so that your target comes into view. Well, you must be sick of me at this point. It's your turn to tell me what to do by using chat commands. Okay, I'll teach you the command to get your members to heal. Okay then, press the square button to open the menu. Next, go ahead and choose first aid from the menu. Well, it's good to be the boss, isn't it? If you use it well, you can bunch up on the enemy or give separate orders to each party member. When you add new members to the party, try various chat commands to see their effects. That's it for now. Just remember what you learned and start exploring. When you think you're ready, we'll head for the dungeon. Okay. So there are in-game tutorials. I just completely forgot that. All right. I don't really know why he explained the zoom in button and the toggle and joystick normally like you would with every other game so I'm, I'm wondering why he explained it like that but other than because I mean other than that I've also noticed that I haven't used this PlayStation 2 controller in a very long time so <laughs> it is sticky <laughs> I gotta get it god that was easy oh because he just hit it <laughs> he was just like and it's dead <laughs> Uh, cause this is a higher level than I am. This spring has a strange feel. Maybe I should throw in a weapon or a piece of armor. Okay, I don't have anything. I said it tries to emulate an MMORPG uh, in the way that you run on the map and the map never ends. Uh, what he was explaining before about the servers, you can put in a couple of different combinations to get different areas, but you may want to watch out because some of those areas are a lot tougher than some of the others when he was explaining servers and, and places to go in the world. So. Now we can start exploring the dungeon. One thing you need to remember is that you can't gate out when you're in a dungeon. To gate out and return to the town, you have to go back to the field. The Sprite Ocarina will warp you to the surface, but you can't use it during battle. This is the treasure box, but you knew that, right? You should know that there are two types of treasure boxes, normal and booby-trapped. This one's normal. Hit the X button to open it. This one's booby-trapped. Notice a different color? Try to open it as is, and you're screwed. Just use the fortune wire on it. This item will disarm the trap. See? Now it's safe to open. Press the X button to open it. explanation of uh, dungeons. So, let's go. What the? Did you just see that? Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but... Something like that on this level?
See, in a regular MMORPG, you see something like that, you get out of there, because you realize, oh, hey, maybe this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Better watch out. We're trapped in here. In the dungeon, there are rooms with traps everywhere. The only way to get out of a trap like this is by activating all the magic portals in the room. All right. Let's charge to that magic portal. This is the room where the statue is. There's only one of them at the dungeon's deepest level, and you can get rare items from it. That's enough adventure for now. Let's grab the treasure and get back to town, shall we? If we had a Sprite Oak Arena, we could warp out of here, but we don't have one. So we gotta go back the way we just came.
Or was the rumor true? Take this. Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. You're... It's coming. What was wrong with Yasuhiko? Why was he upset? I wanted to ask him, but he wouldn't even pick up the phone. And then? The next day, I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized. I rushed to the hospital, but they wouldn't even let me see him. But I guess it's better this way. I didn't want to see him all week. And he wouldn't want that either. But what the hell happened to him? I have a feeling that the key to it is somewhere in the world. Oh boy, things are starting to get real now. Alright, I hope you guys like this first part of oof, my playthrough of Dot Hack Infection. There are plenty to come, so if you really enjoy the Dot Hack series and uh, you want to see more of these videos, make sure to subscribe, like this video, blah 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 blah, um, and all that jazz. It helps out a lot, and I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, too, because I really love reading them comments. As long as they're not troll-based. Yeah, troll-based comments. My favorite comments. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to stop and probably get another one of my controllers, because I did not realize this one was so... <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I played PlayStation 2. Ah. Alright, let's see where my wife is. Uh, 
Oh yeah, there's... What? That cannot be my last sin. Oh, this must be... Like my sister's or something. Because she tried playing this game too. Alright. I just think it's weird that it's not named Jason in a sense. Let's see what it's named. Yeah, it's Kite. And then there's this Kite. <laughs> uh, well, I think this is one of those games that keeps the same name. Mail. There you go. You get to read this <laughs> as I leave. Uh, Alright everyone, thanks for watching. And bye bye.